Hi there and welcome. This short video is going to be about the spring equinox. At 6.59 this morning, I was at the lovely New Jersey shore with various cameras, compasses, and things of that sort. My purpose in doing so was to show that on an equinox, the sun rises at 90 degrees due east. Interestingly enough, the sun rises at 90 degrees due east from any point on the planet during the equinox. In this video, I will try to explain to the best of my ability exactly why that is. First, let's take a look at some of the relatively simple equipment I needed to perform this experiment or observation. First, there's a standard Sony Handycam supported by a fairly heavy tripod to ensure that there's no movement during the observations. Next, we have a phone running a compass app. The reason I used a compass app on the phone is so that I could include it in the video while we were observing the sunrise. And finally, you'll notice on the bench a fairly accurate magnetic compass. This was used to calibrate the compass app on the phone to make sure that it was entirely accurate. That's it. That's what was needed for this experiment. Why, you may ask, am I wasting so much of your time talking about the equipment that I used to make these observations? That's an easy one. I wanted to make it clear that science is not just for the people in white coats with expensive lab equipment. Science is for everyone. Anyone watching this video is capable of going out and learning about the world and the universe that surrounds us. More important than what equipment you have is what procedures you use. Did you notice that instead of just using the compass app on the phone, I also made use of a magnetic compass to ensure accuracy? Using proper procedures is truly the most important thing. Through diligent use of detailed procedures, Eratosthenes was able to determine the circumference of the Earth using a couple of sticks. All right, I know you're all thinking that's enough preaching from the pug, so let's get on to the observations, and then we'll talk about why we see what we see. So, as you can see, on the equinox, the sun rises due east at 90 degrees. A. That compass clearly indicates 104 degrees, not 90. Here's why. The magnetic north and south poles are not precisely aligned with the axis around which the Earth rotates. Since magnetic north and geographic north, often called true north, are not in the same place, you must make certain adjustments based on where on the surface of the Earth you are. On the east coast, where I live, magnetic north is less than true north. In the case of where I was standing, that would be about 14 degrees less. So you see, 90 degrees plus 14 degrees, coming out with 104 degrees, will give me true east. Now that we've addressed that apparent compass anomaly, it's about time for us to get into explaining why the sun rises due east for all of us. 
Here's a quote from EarthSky.org. No matter where you are on Earth, except at the North and South Poles, you have a due east and due west point on your horizon. That point marks the intersection of your horizon with the celestial equator, the imaginary line above the true equator of the Earth. At the equinoxes, the sun appears overhead at noon as seen from the Earth's equator. That's the definition of an equinox. It's when the sun crosses the celestial equator as seen in Earth's sky. That's why the sun rises due east and sets due west for all of us on the day of an equinox. The sun is on the celestial equator, and the celestial equator intersects all of our horizons at points due east and due west. Now, note the fact that this works, and it does work, is completely dependent on the sun's rays being almost parallel. This is terribly upsetting to our friends in the Flat Earth community, because it demonstrates that the sun is a great distance away, not 3,000 miles overhead. That great distance being approximately 93 million miles. Another thing that is sure to irk the Flat Earthers is it makes the whole spotlight sun over the Flat Earth thing impossible. In this model, produced by Rob Skiba, the only people that would see the sun rise due east are the people who happen to reside directly under the circle in which this spotlight sun is traveling. All right, that about wraps it up. So what have we learned today? First, and most importantly, I think, anybody can do science. Second, procedure is extremely important. Third, try to account for all the variables, like a compass that tells you where true north isn't. Fourth, that on an equinox, the sun rises due east for anyone that has a due east. This excludes the North and South Poles. And fifth, we have once again affirmed that flat earth is crap. Well, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you really like what we're doing, please consider helping to support our efforts at patreon.com slash scistrike. And of course, the best way of all to help support us, just keep showing up and tell all your friends we exist. So thanks again, and we'll see you next time.